People have this perception that molten salts at 700 degrees are highly corrosive, but that's not necessarily true. We have developed processes to keep the oxide and moisture levels really low, and once you keep them low, then these salts are inherently stable and they result in very, very low corrosion rates. So Thomas, why are you spending so much time on molten salts? Well, we are in the process of developing our first molten salt reactor. And just for the reactor, we need 10 tons of salt. The reason why the salts need to be purified is that we don't have to be battling corrosion, but we can focus on the actual reactor development. When we first started, there were no suppliers of these salts, so we had to sort of develop the processes ourselves, both for our internal development, but we could also see that there was a general need in the market for purified salts. We are involved in a number of projects related to molten salt. That's, for example, thermal energy storage, next generation of concentrated solar power, and then, of course, our molten salt reactors. What makes us different from the normal supplier of RENA is that we have actually purified the salts and certified them, and you don't have to deal with powder. You get them as ingots or in canisters where they can be pumped into your system. So all the hassle related to dealing with powder that has to be dried, we have taken care of all that. And if you had to dry the salts within your equipment, you would be battling corrosion rather than focusing on whatever it is that you are testing. How can people reach out to you about the molten salt? Well, go to our homepage, copenhagenatomics.com, just reach out and we'll get back to you.